With another typhoon approaching, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un presided over a Workers' Party meeting at the typhoon-hit area to discuss recovery efforts and reprimanded a top officer. According to the Korean Central News Agency, Kim briefed that Typhoon Maesak destroyed more than 1,000 houses, inundated public buildings and farmland when it struck the South and North Hamgyong provinces last week. Kim led an executive policy committee meeting on recovery efforts in the typhoon heat areas, and the meeting also had an in-depth discussion on the detailed measures such as the organization of building crews to be dispatched to the areas, KCNA said. Top officials in North Korea attended the meeting, and Kim called for party members in the capital to take the lead to aid the provinces in strengthening society's single-minded unity. During the meeting, Kim dismissed Kim Song-il, the chairman of the South Hamgyong Provincial Committee of the Workers' Party, by reprimanding him harsh over an apparent failure in coping with the typhoon and appointed a new successor. Kim also sent an open letter to party members in the capital, noting that this year has witnessed uncommon difficulties due to the protracted worldwide public health crisis and natural disasters. After Kim presided the meeting, 300,000 party members went to the Hamgyong province in a bid to recover the destructive scene by the typhoon, and the number of the participants are increasing, according to KCNA. This year, North Korea has been grappling with heavy rains, floods, and typhoons in one of the wettest rainy seasons on record. The North's main newspaper, Nodong Shinmun, said Saturday that dozens of casualties were reported in Gangwon province, south of the Hamgyong provinces. Meanwhile, North Korea was on high alert again for an approaching typhoon named Haisan, its 10th typhoon of the season, which likely to be stronger than the previous ones that hit the country. To minimize damage to people and facilities, North Korea notified evacuation routes, called for efforts to prevent its agricultural areas from flooding again, according to KCNA. It added, officials were taking various measures to prepare for the upcoming typhoon in several areas, including the quarry sector, power plants, and the fishing industry. 